So half moon, Ardha Chandrasana, um, man, that's a big one to start with, right? Because right away, I mean, the yoga has you work in the spot. <laughs> and didn't, yeah, didn't you think, maybe you guys think, I thought for years, oh, this is a simple one. <laughs> Just do half moon. Nothing to it. I had and then I learned how to do it. Like, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. I, for me, it was the exact opposite. For oh. years, I dreaded it. Oh, oh my, now I love it, yeah. but just goes to show you, right, that it changes over time, yeah. but oh my God, I used to be in like agony trying to hold it. And so stuff. why did I think so, it was simple? Yeah. Because I didn't do anything. Mm. I just bent yeah. like a floppy thing, oh, you know, gosh. I didn't, well, it's, it's very yeah. simple. I think the thing is, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, um, and Vikram talks about this, that, you know, the most common misunderstanding about half moon, that it's about bending, mm. when it's actually about stretching. You're trying to get as tall, as long as you can, stretching up out of the waist. And um, that traction of the spine, it, it's effort. Mm. Um, but it's also very good for the spine because you're creating space in each of the vertebrae of the spine. So you spend the whole day sitting at a desk, yeah. compressing right. your spine, driving right. in a car. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. you're already like you know half an inch shorter right. than you normally right. are, and then you come in and you've got an opportunity to restore your natural height. Um, but oh, it are, takes a bit of concentration. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We often say um, this posture trims your waistline. Yeah, only if you're doing it correctly. <laughs> Otherwise, nothing happens. It's not doing anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, one of the things I look forward to half moon now is after a good pranayama standing deep breathing, like I know my lungs are ready, and so my spine, and when I move right or left side, now that I do it better than I used to, which we will show you, I love that stretch, that stretch. in my yes. intercostals, mm. yes. right? Like you were talking about, to get that movement from side to side, yes. feels so good. And then the back bend, that's why two sets is so important, is like that initial one is like, whoa, where am I in the room? And you just feel so tight and stiff, and then you see people sacrificing form. Right, and we say that all the time from the beginning, right, is you don't want to, you know, sacrifice form for depth. It's just constantly listening to the instructions. Not what you it, do, but how, how you do it. God, if you guys learn anything, that would be key for you to learn, right? And right away, I think we just get like, oh, we want to do more, and then um, before you know it, we've bent the elbows. And, uh, well, I think the thing is, it's, it, it's, it's, it's very easy to forget you know, because our experience of physical activities tend to be sports and gymnastics mm -hmm. and so on, where it's about performing. And then you come and do yoga and some of the things we do might be reminiscent of some of the things you yeah. did in the gym or at school yeah. or whatever. And yeah. then you're back into the mindset of performing and, and performing is all about looking good. Mm -hmm. um, it's not about being good inside. Whereas, you know, obviously all the yoga that we do are natural, healthy movements of the body. And so it doesn't matter how much you can do it, but it does matter how you're doing yeah. it to get that yeah. healthiness. Yeah. Um, you guys, that's a really good point because if you do it the right way, you are going to increase your range of motion. And that's what this class is about, improving circulation and mobility in every area. So half moon is critical and it's no mistake that Bikram Yoga, we start with the spine like mm -hmm. right away. Mm -hmm. So what do you guys think are the kind of the common mistakes that you see First, uh, collapsing the mm. body, mm. not stretching up out of the waist. So you'll hear right in the beginning, you have all that long preparation. And often I watch somebody standing there while I talk and talk and talk, not doing anything. So it's like nothing's happening here, but you have to stretch elbows, palms together. And let, think of the order of it, palms together, interlock, release, thumbs crossed, release the index fingers. Then the elbows locked, arms touching with the ears, chin away from the chest, little bit little bit hips forward, little bit upper body back, not big back bend, we're gonna do that in a minute. And then listen very carefully. You're gonna use the legs, the feet, the shoulder blades, and the waist to stretch the spine up and keep doing, keep doing, keep doing, keep doing, keep doing, keep doing, keep doing. Once you're there, you're still stretching and very slowly, very slowly you bend the body. It's really the, you're not, the bending the body, not so much an action. As a result, you stretch and you push your hips. You stretch and you push your hips, and if it starts to look like there you that, go. instead you have to stretch again. Do, do it bad way again. All right. Are you? And then just hold that for a minute. Now, are you guys seeing a lot of yourself in there? <laughs> I hate to say it, right? We got to be honest here. You know, if your half moon looks that way, then you need this video, yeah. right? Also, <laughs> sorry. Do you want to do it? Do it one more time. Just, just bend to the left like you did. Just collapse to the left. Uh, yeah. So. 
you know, one of the things to note here is that as mm. Sarah's collapsing here. Yeah. So all of this is compressing, it's wrinkling. Um, she wasn't wearing top on, you'd see great big wrinkles in the skin um, because of the collapse as opposed to this should stretch. It's just that this should stretch tremendously. Yeah, so you can see um, how when So that both stretches. sides are stretching. It's mm -hmm. just this is stretching more mm -hmm. because she's pushing her mm -hmm. hips towards me. Mm -hmm. Especially if you're flexible, by the way, you have to stretch both sides. Mm. Yeah. You have to really think of it. Right. Yes. Yeah. Again, it took me 10 years. Don't I think, there's a, lot yeah. Of, yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. there's a lot of postures in Bikram Yoga that, again, going back to performance versus healthy movement, that flexible people find easier and look better when they're doing it wrong than a stiff person who's struggling very hard to do it at all, but because they're stiff, they kind of can't really do it wrong. You know, yeah, like, yeah. I was like that. Right. I was very stiff to right. begin with. I so I yeah. couldn't yeah. collapse in half yeah. noon because this, yeah. the stiffness yeah. of my body didn't allow yeah. for me yeah. to collapse. Right. It was only later as I right. developed some flexibility right. that right. then I got these bad yeah. habits of collapsing, which I had to then undo. Yeah, you know, I, you're bringing up a good point, like a few times, Matt, one of the things that I, is a big point in this practice is that it's not a, a one hit it is a journey it is a lifetime practice which is why we take the time to do these things because it is normal to go through phases of what you think the posture should be okay. it will be a slow awakening so these things that we're saying to you are helping you on your journey so realize like i did it too i'm sure you did it too but when you're overly flexible you don't have kind of the contrast to know that what you're doing is leaning on your ligaments mm -hmm. you don't know that for a while right with someone who's not strong not not flexible and is quite stiff you know you're having a judgment where i can't do this this isn't for me i'm not flexible <laughs> enough right yeah. where over time if you keep coming all that stuff is going to dissolve and you're going to realize right that you're here a number one you're going to feel great even after your first class so that's going to be a motivation to keep you inspired to keep coming mm -hmm. and then number two you're going to realize too that you're opening up little by little right and you'll realize that yoga is a healing modality Right? This isn't a performance thing. It can be a sport, all that, but that's why this yoga is intended for every body, every single Absolutely. body, which is why we love teaching it. Yeah. It has no prejudice, discrimination against anybody. We've seen it with, you know, wheelchairs to, you know, to Olympic um, athletes. Olympic athletes, yes. right? Yeah. To people with, you know, spinal injuries. So it's really, it's intended for everybody. So, we so right the, out of the so gate, sorry, yeah, I'm saying with, right out of the gate with Half Moon, though, you need to say to yourself, if you can't, if you're a beginner, maybe you're three years in and you have some bad habits, wheel it back. Mm -hmm. Go back to the instruction. And Sarah is right. And I would like you to demonstrate on me. Wait till you hear, if you're really listening, you can hear how long the dialogue setup is. Mm -hmm. All right. In this, yes. right? So that you get the form right away mm -hmm. and you're not fighting the posture once you're in it. And you, right? when you look at Michelle do it to the dialogue, you're going to see she's active all the time. She's mentally and physically active. She's not waiting for me to finish. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Feet together nicely, toes and heels touching each other. Arms over your head sideways, palms together. Interlock your fingers, release your index fingers, thumbs crossed, keep a nice tight grip all the way up to the wrists, like glue throughout the entire posture. Stretch up to the ceiling, right and left several times, right and left, right and left, right and left. You should feel stretching down both sides of the body all the way up to the fingertips. In other words, you're trying to touch the ceiling. When you can't stretch anymore, please stop in the middle. Elbows locked, arms always touching with your ears. No gap between biceps, arms and ears. Push your hips forward a little bit towards mirror. Opening up hips and pelvis, upper body leaning back a couple of inches. Opening up chest and rib cage throughout posture, mat and body weight on your heels. Arms and head back, chin up, concentrate. One point in the mirror, don't even blink your eyes. Inhale, breathing, full lungs, hold the breathing, stretch up, out of the waist, stretch up out of the waist, try to touch the ceiling. Absolutely straight line, slowly bend your body to the left without bending your elbows or your knees. Continuously push your hips to the right, keep stretching. Push your hips to the right, beyond your flexibility. You're trying to create tremendous stretching feeling in the right side of the body, all over, inside out, bones to skin, fingertips to the toes. Hips more forward, upper body back more, 
weight in your heels, push your right hip foot to keep both hips in one line, left shoulder forward, you're not too much, too good is no good, a little bit better, it's to come down and push your hips to the right, come there, keep stretching, come down, push and push and push, inhale, breathing, come up, stop in the middle. So I think sometimes in the background we, we break it down into instructions and then as a beginner you just try and attempt one of them at a time mm. rather than seeing the wholeness of the backbend. And the wholeness of the back bend is just that the whole spine moves at the same time. So, you, you know, you've, you've come out of half moon, you're here. Let's take a deep breath, full lunge, drop your head back, arms back. So yeah. the whole spine moves, everything moves. Your arms are just leading the rest of the spine. Mm. But if you take it piecemeal as individual instructions, then you could be here. Take a deep breath. Yeah. Drop right. your head back. Yeah. Right, and a lot of times what Matt is doing right now... And then the arms back right, immediately, where... but at this point I don't want to bring my arms back yeah. because I'm already collapsing right. because right. I've broken right. it down. Right. Whereas, you know, if I just move naturally... Take a deep breath, arms back. So this movement of the body, this just this natural movement of the body, is the most natural thing that we do naturally, that when we slow it down and break it down into pieces, then it gets unnatural and yes. our brain gets scared. Right, anxiety. And then we want to do sense, weird sure. things like, right. Oh, right, right, you know, right. and then it all falls apart. Right. But if we let go of that and yeah. just flow with it right. in one s smooth movement, right. it all happens quite naturally. Yeah, yeah. So, it's, it's natural, of course, to be scared of backbending. Yeah. We don't backbend. And it is natural, it's natural to be scared and you want to reach your arms forward to balance yourself and you want to go to a place of least resistance, which is the lower back. But you will find over time, done slowly in the right way, you start to enjoy them, they start to feel stable and the whole spine is getting therapy. So the parts of the spine that don't want to bend, which is up here, thoracic spine yeah. particularly, yeah. those are going to get the benefit. At the same time, the lower back, which when you first stop, where you just want to push into that because it's easy, that bends a little bit less and therefore that also gets therapy. Mm. Yeah. Mm. You know, the tightest area of our spine, right, is right here. So yeah. we're asking you, we even say in the dialogue, right, total spine coccyx yeah. to the neck, lower back, yes. middle back, upper back, right? So even the first back bend. And that's the great thing about Bikram Yoga too, is like we're not, you know, highlighting favorite parts of the spine oh, yeah. or yeah. coccyx to the neck yes. right that's such a long way so oh, yeah. right out of the gate but as matt showed you you know a common mistake is that we break the form right because we want to go well, we break also, we have bend our knees and yeah. bend our elbows but i think it's right? also you know again i think it's another one where when you're flexible like you see a flexible person do this posture and you say wow they're so good at it and what you're seeing is a bend in the lower back, which, as you said, is already very flexible because it already bends backwards as a natural, as that's its natural shape. Um, and so, you know, we need to kind of set that aside that there's, it's not a performance. It's not, we're not, you know, you're not graded by how far you go or can you touch the floor, yeah. but how even is the bend. Yeah. I mean, this is why this is half moon. I mean, sometimes we forget, we think that left and right is half moon and then you do a back bend, but the back bend is the Ardha Chandrasana. Yes. You say the left and well, right are just yeah. really the warm yeah. yes. where we're doing strengthening yeah. the sides yeah. of the body in but preparation. the inner Yes, yeah. mm -hmm. in preparation yeah. for the real Ardha yeah. Chandrasana, which is the, yeah. the back bend, the, back bend. the, the crescent. Yeah. Yeah. So it doesn't matter if you're very yeah. stiff and maybe your back bend. Is this? It's a millimeter. Mm. You know, and this it's is a wonderful back yeah. 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 Yes, that's Maybe a it's great one. Off. See his Maybe legs are not bending, off. right? So the compromise, bend the knees, Matt, right? Too. So you don't want to do that and bend spread your feet the apart yeah. and your yeah. collapse yeah. lower back. Yeah. That's, oh, no, yeah. no, 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 yeah. don't. That's oh, the X. Yeah. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> that big red X, yes. Yeah. Right, but a little bit in this class goes a long way. A little bit doing it 100% the right way. My God, we say that over and over again. Right, and you have to feel it for yourself too, right? You have to give yourself like patience and trust the process because we even say it in the dialogue, right? You know, this is your first backward bend, your back might hurt, right? Yeah. Don't, be, don't, be, don't scared. be scared, don't be scared. But they're essential. They're essential for your overall health. Yes. Yeah, I think it's also yeah. important to realize that your fear will direct you to do all the things that are gonna be unhealthy for your spine. Mm. If you follow the instructions smoothly without delay, 
you will be moving your spine in the most natural and the most the strongest way. Yeah. In the way that reinforces its yeah. health and its natural movement yeah. and its natural yeah. strengthening. Yeah. And so that's why it's important. That's why we say don't be scared. It's not because it's wrong or bad to be scared, but because it gets in the way. Yeah. It's the most natural thing in the world, but it gets in the way. So don't be scared. Yeah. Arms back immediately, yeah. try and touch the wall behind yeah. you. And that'll, everything else in your body will follow that cue. That's why we put so much emphasis on the arms, yeah. because the rest of the body will just follow. Uh, and then you've, before you know it, you've found that you're actually doing a healthy yeah. background, whatever that looks like. You know, Matt, you're bringing up another good point too. Like when you guys come here and take this class, whether you're listening to it for the first time or you've been doing it for a while, once you understand the technique, the good technique, none of this is going to hurt and that fear will start to dissipate. That's it. It's You'll so even feel it. You'll feel like, oh, this isn't so bad. Oh, this is more simple than I thought yeah. when you follow through. And, you know, we are asking you to push your edge a little bit. You know, that's part of it too, right? If you're in fear, you want to kind of back off, make sure you're doing it okay. But there's a part of you too that's got to go for it, you know? I think it's, yeah. it's really, um, you know, our teacher, Vikram, would talk about why is it called a dialogue? Because it's a conversation between the teacher and your body. Yeah. It's not a conversation between the teacher and your mind. Absolutely. Yeah. And so if your mind's involved in trying to analyze the instructions, you're almost certainly going to be you're dragged away from the correct yeah. form. And that's one of the beautiful things I love about Bikram Yoga. The instructions are rooted in basic language that the body can understand yeah. without the brain having to analyze. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so the best advice if you're struggling with this is stop thinking about it and just yeah. follow the yeah, instructions yeah. as best you can. Yeah. You, you might um, think like the body is a really good car and you're learning how to drive it. Yeah. 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 I mean, in what other uh, medium is giving you instructions on how to run your body and honestly how Absolutely. to run your life? Yeah. Absolutely. Which is what this is doing. So. So, yeah, so hopefully this will inspire you to do your back bends because they really are essential. They're sort of the um, meat and potatoes of this practice, yeah. Yeah. too. So we want to help you get comfortable with them. So, yeah. thank you. There's one other thing I do, I was yeah. going to add, because yeah. we, we don't talk about it very much. Yeah. We talk about back bends being very good for the spine, strengthening for the spine. And, and of course, it's absolutely true. Um, and we talk about how to do it and the various things. But, you know, a lot of people complain about lower back pain. But there's a very important line in, in the back bend dialogue, which is push your hips forward. Yeah. So you're learning, and you, of course we do this in camera as well, but push your hips forward. This means contract these butt muscles. Yes. That is yeah. These butt that. muscles and this abdomen yeah. are the two major muscle groups that support your lower back. Yeah. So learning to do that as well as obviously bringing your arms back, these two things together, you're just building strength. Yeah. And so all of that lower back instability, which in a modern human is because we spend too much time sitting, so we have weak glute muscles Typing, and weak abdominal driving. muscles, yeah. yes. mm -hmm. um, you're building that strength. Yeah. So again, it doesn't yeah. matter how far you go, yeah. maybe you're really stiff and this is yeah. like, oh, good yeah. grief, this is hard work and right. great, good for you, this right. is fantastic. Yeah. And, you know, to your point, it, we're our society today, and we see it a lot because mm -hmm. we've been doing 20 years of, well, 20 years, you guys, right? You see, this is people's spines, oh, right? yes. now rounded. Oh, and you you also yeah. see kind of the heavy stomach because yes. the lower lumbar is kind oh, of yeah. collapsed because yes. we yeah. sit. So, of course, and it's going to hurt a little bit yeah. when you do a back bend because you're asking your spine <laughs> to do something that it hasn't done in a long time, mm -hmm. right? But it is part of your natural range of motion that, quite honestly, you need to return because if you don't have, imagine over time, gravity getting the best of your spine, your joints, all your nerves, then your communication going up and down. Absolutely. You know, yes. right? Spine. Mood. Disease, yeah. Um, yeah. The spine yeah. mediates every other part of the body. Yeah, the health of the organs, the health of the mind. But of course, you, you know, know yeah. you, you talk about the spine and the gut and the abdomen and everything. But if you're like this, oh, your lungs oh, are yeah. really small. Yeah. Yes. Think about that. But oh, they're just right. Yeah. Now your lungs right. are really big right. yes. because right. your rib cage has collapsed. Right. Now it's right. open. Even exactly. something as simple as that. So yeah. you know, people who who get older um, and start to you know, and aren't doing anything to combat right. that, that decline, then they get to be breathless. Right. And then they imagine they have a heart problem right. when they don't really have a heart problem, right. they have a lung right. problem. Yes. And it's like right. Right. learning right. to do this. And of course, right. that's why we do right. the pranayama at the beginning, just exactly. to start to yeah. 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 get yeah. Yeah. this yeah. happening. Yeah. And of course, back rims yeah. helping with yeah. that opening yeah. up of the ribcage. Yeah. 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 
Yeah, it's amazing what the first 15 minutes in class delivers. So our next topic will be hands to feet.